Hey guys, welcome to a review of Pokemon trading card game Blue Assault theme deck from Black and White set. So yeah, Black and White set, um, I got the Blue Assault theme deck. Earlier I reviewed the Oshawott sneak preview tin, but now I have the Blue Assault theme deck. Um, which is, um, Oshawott's deck. Because all three of the starters also got their own decks. So yeah, I like this deck. This is a good deck. Um, it is one of the best designed out of the ones I've reviewed, definitely. So, uh, yeah, let's look at some of the features of it. I'm not going to show you, like, the damage counters or stuff, stuff like that, but I'm going to show you what I think is important to show. So here's the box. Um, online. Play this deck online. We'll talk about that in a sec. Pokemon trading card game. It's got the black and white, and if you couldn't tell, it kind of bumps where Samurai is. That's what this Pokemon is. Kind of, It's kind of bumpy where he is. It's very nice artwork, basically. Samurai standing on a rock with a big wave crashing on him. Or it. I don't know if it's a he or she. And also black and white is also elevated. Morning Choking Hazard is not for ages under 3. It's also not for ages under 8. <laughs> okay, black and white again. Uh... Exciting new discoveries, powerful new Pokemon, more epic battles, more epic yarn. Okay, not more epic yarn, but more epic battles. A new generation of Pokemon has arrived. The Pokemon trading card game Black and White Expansion brings you a legion of over 70 new Pokemon from the newly explored Univer region, including legendary Reshiram and Zekrom, both featured never-before-seen art that covers the entire card. The Pokemon TCG Black and White expansion is your gateway to a bigger Pokemon world. Sorta. Of. I'm sure they just said. I'm sure they said that for everyone. Pokemon expansion Diamond and Pearl is the is something something something. I, can't, I don't feel like reading it. See so ya. Yeah, strategy or whatever this is. Your opponent will soon find themselves in troubled water when in the Blue Salt theme deck or with the Blue Salt theme deck. Especially when you unleash Galvantula, its electro web attack is sure to leave them in st in sticky situations. Get it? And its leash life attack will keep your own Pokemon going strong. Use Basculin's Crunch attack to leave your opponent's Pokemon high and dry. High and dry. Well, Professor Juniper brings your calm wa brings you calm waters. Will you be able to better the up? Position with the blue assault theme deck, maybe. So I guess the idea of this deck is to not let your opponent do much. Like uh, Basculin's Crunch discards energy, so they can't build up their attacks if they keep discarding energy. And um, Galvantula's attacks, well, they um, get rid of his HP, so they can't kill Galvantula or get any other Pokemon out. Or uh, then it's uh, Electro with attack. Uh, doesn't let your opponent retreat, so they can't really do much. I guess that's the idea, but not the best strategy. So, in this box you'll find 60 Pokemon card deck, includes a specially selected holographic foil card, or Samurott, it's always Samurott. 60 Pokemon, oh wait, I just read that. One metal coin, checklist, did they come with a checklist? I don't think it, I don't remember. Damage counters, one deck box, two player placemat slash rule sheet, Contains one code card. This card gives you access to an additional deck for play in the Pokemon TCG Online Trading Card Game. Or Trading... Trainer Challenge. Trading card... No. See, so yeah, you can play it online. I've never tried that, and I don't really feel like trying. I'm not going to show you the code card, because it'd be stupid. Buy it yourself. See, so yeah, it's uh, Water and Electric, if you can tell. Three... or er, two Samurott, three Dewatt. 4 Oshawott, 2 Simapore, 3 Panpore, 1 Swana, 2 Ducklet, 2 Basculent, 1 Galvantula, 2 Joltik, 2 Blitzel, 1 Unpheasant, 1 or 2 Tranquilla, 3 Pit of, 2 Energy Search, 2 Potion, 2 Energy Retrieval, 2 Pokeballs, 2 Professor Gene First, 2 Revised, 12 Water Energy, and 6 Lightning Energy. I always call it electric. I don't know if it's the official name is electric or lightning. I assume it's lightning. But I like electric better. See, so yeah, that's the box. It has the again. It has I forgot to mention it has the window to show off the Samurai card and the new box. It's more sealed. It doesn't so it doesn't, it doesn't come with a shrink wrap around it, which I like because this shrink wrap kind of was stupid and didn't make any sense. 
but I like this d design better because, you know, uh, it opens like this, but it, it's also worse because it looks worse. Like, say, um, right here, Chaos Control Box, I've opened it, and it still looks fine. With this, it's always like that. So, in that sense, it's worse, but it's also better. So yeah, new box, okay. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't normally show you, uh, the placemat, but it's actually pretty interesting this time around. Um, it's not just a one-player mat. Usually they're one-player mats. Just the last set, Call of Legends, that was a one-player mat. But now it's a two-player mat. See so, ya. Yeah. See? Two players. I'm not lying. It's got Rushy Ram and Zekrome. The white one is Rushy Ram, and the black one is Zekrome. First thing I like is Zekrome better, but meh. Neither of them are that cool, in my opinion. See, the price cards are kind of clumped together, and rules are there. But it actually also has the rules on the back of it. When I first got this, I was like, what, there's no rule book, huh? And then apparently, yeah, and then you can see the new energy look kind of weird. Like, especially the dark energy, that one looks weird. I don't know why. And are there official names Darkness and Metal? Because the, the types are Dark and Steel, not Darkness and Metal. Well, I, I guess they... They named the energy something special because they're not standard basic energy at first, but they decided to keep them for no reason. Well, I mean, fighting is also rock and ground, so can't complain. So yeah, that's the rules. Uh, and placemat. I just wanted to show it off because it's very interesting. They have the rules on it, and it's two-player, so you can always play if you have 120 cards and two basic Pokemon. See, so yeah, um, in black and white, they actually changed a couple rules from the uh, last well from all the sets. I mean, it's not like new rules. Not it's not like new special. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this is the card list. I forgot the card list is on the back of this thing. And if you couldn't tell, um, like look. There's two Snivies, two Cervines, and two Superiors. And there's actually four Snivies slash Tepig slash Oshawats. Because there's one from the Sneak Peek tin, one you get in the deck, one you get from, um, one you get from the packs, and then one that, uh, that you, uh, that you could get in the, uh, the, the blister packs as promo cards. So there's four of all the basics, but there's two of the other ones. And I actually have the other Samurai, and it's awesome. It's much better than this one. Well, it's not much better, but it's better, I think. So yeah, card types, as you can see, they it's a new design, but they've, they've done that several times. Like, Pokeball looks nothing like it did before. It, that wasn't the first Pokeball, obviously. It's something a lot different, so I don't know why that's it. So yeah, um... I don't know why it says Pokemon cards from Diamond and Pearl through Call of Legends because, well, that Diamond and Pearl wasn't the first. In fact, on the website, they even list all, like, all the Ruby and Sapphire sets, so I don't know why it just says that. So yeah, supporters, and and they say refer to them as trainer supporters or trader... I, yeah, that's, that's already what they're called, except for trainer items, but it's pointless anyway. Any reference card... So, it, like, if, uh... See, so if it says search your deck for trainer card, now it reads search for deck for an item card. Uh, and also, apparently, this is really stupid, but also supporter cards no longer stay in play after the end of your turn. Yeah. That's, like, pointless. That didn't do anything. Like, I already discarded the supporters and just remembered that I already played ones. This is just a stupid rule. Apparently... If you have a supporter card in play, each professor tag is something. Like that. Thanks. Uh, something. Uh, something. I can't read this. I'm reading it through the camera preview window, and it's not the best quality. If you couldn't tell. So yeah, it's kind of a stupid rule. And this is the uh, by far the worst. Oh yeah, this one. This one is also people say it's kind of stupid. The player that goes first can no longer has the restrictions of what cards he he or she can play. So, apparently you could, couldn't could play trainers, but I never knew that until I started going to Pokemon League, so... Meh. But this is by far the stupidest. You can't argue with this. 
Um, the new cards um, now have abilities instead of poke powers or poke bodies, and that might seem like just another stupid name change, but they're not. It says they're not linked. They don't connect. That's really like say goop gas attack from the very first. Or I think it was like Rocket set, Team Rocket said negate all poke powers. That doesn't work now. That's that's just ridiculous. That's not fair. That, that that's just basically saying okay, all your old stuff doesn't work anymore. Go buy this stuff and then it'll be fine. You, none of the, none of your old stuff works. You have to buy our stuff. Buy our stuff. That's basically what they're saying, and I hate that. See, apparently there are changes to a lot of the cards. Um, Rare Candy, now you can't evolve whenever you want. It's basically just like Pokemon Breeder. So why not call it Pokemon Breeder? Ugh. Potion now heals 30. Great Ball is now Master Ball. And apparently Master Ball is now Great Ball, but I've never seen that. And Plus Power no longer attaches to the Pokemon. So basically all these changes are very stupid. Make new cards. Don't change the old ones. Having them already restricted. So here's the coin. It's got Oshawott, Snivy, and Tepig on a blue hollow thing. And obviously, for the other decks, it's red or green. Obviously, green for the Snivy and uh, red for Tepig. But it's weird. Um, like, in the first set, Chimchar was the one that's like all high and mighty above them, and then now it's Snivy. I don't know why. I guess it's just who they thought was cooler. Well,. Snivy's the least stupid, I think, but that's, that's, it's the least, the least, one, the one you could not, that it's hard to say is stupid, because I could see you saying Oshawott or Tepig is stupid, mainly just because of Tepig's name, I'm top pig, that's just, a, that's what it sounds like to me. See ya, sorry it's taking so long to get to the cards, but let's straw it out even more, so here's the deck box. Yeah, deck box, Pokemon Company. See ya. Open up the deck box and check out the cards we get. So here we have Samurott, the main star. It looks very nice, very nice artwork. Uh, evolved from D Watt, 140 HP. Pike, this is a this is a really cheap attack. Does 30 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. That's, that's really good. And Surf does 80 damage. Ironically, the Feraligator from Heart Gold and Soul Silver had the same attack, just with one more energy cost, one more colorless. So yeah, Samurai, very good. I definitely recommend this. And you get two of it, so finally well-constructed decks. And Dewat is a decent Pokemon. Standard attacks, 90 HP. So yeah, that, that's, I find that strange how... Um, wait, what? What am I talking about? That you, that you get two Samurais and three Dewats and then four Oshawats. I like that. It's, I think that's how decks should be constructive. Have them gradually get less and less the higher up you go. I think that's how they should have done it from the start, or at least done it from forever. I think that's how they should have done it. But yeah, um, Oshawott's pretty standard, Dewat. So you get two Simapore. This is definitely one of the best Pokemon. Scaled. The friendly Pokemon is now burned. It's a very good one. And Furious Wipes. Very good attack. Flip a few coins. Attack is... 40 damage times the number of heads. Definitely very good cards to make for. Definitely recommend it. And you get two of it, so it's definitely one of the more um, uh, developed Pokemon, I guess. And you get three Panpour. I don't really like Panpour. I, I think three, 30 damage, three energy is not a good attack at all. I think Oshawott is definitely much better. But neither of them are too good. So yeah. Swana. During your next turn, each of this Pokemon's attacks does 40 more damage before playing weakness resistance. So that's an interesting uh, attack. And Aqua Ring, switch this Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. So I can see why Feather Dance exists instead of, like, not just, you know, I don't, oh, I only have one energy, what should I do? I guess I'll just use Feather Dance. I mean, like, you're not going to have her, or you're not going to have Swana out the next turn, so. Might as well do as much as you can for the time being. So yeah, Swan is a decent card. But you only get one of it, so that's not very good. Ducklet, not good at all. Basculent, I really like Basculent. Flip the coin. If heads discard an energy attached to defending Pokemon for two energy, that's a very good attack. I definitely like Basculent. You get two of it, so that's another good card. Now Galvantula. Galvantula is a very good card. Uh, you get 
uh, well, Electroweb. Uh, I actually talked about these, and they were mentioned. These are very good attack. That that's not fair. I'm just saying that right now. That is a not that attack is so cheap. It's not right. That's not fair. You shouldn't be able to do that. Well, I guess Esp Espeon was kind of the same deal. From um, un no Unleash no, Undaunt yeah Undaunted. Like eventually is very good, but you only get one of it. And are those supposed to be its its feet or its um? It's like antenna. And I know this sounds really weird coming from me because I hate spiders, especially tarantulas, because I hate when they have like little furs, or because tarantulas are really furry. But I like Gilmancha, he's cool looking. And then Joltik, um, yeah, you get two of that. It was 30 HP, strange. Not a very good attack, or a very good Pokemon. And then you get two Blitzels, um, the first form of Zeb Strika, which I actually have some of those. Um, yeah. Not a very good Pokemon. Really, take the Blitzels out and add more Galvantula and Joltik. This is pointless. Get rid of it. Either that, or get rid of uh, Swanna and Ducklet, because they're... Uh, like, you really don't... Because Electric is already completely overshadowed by all these water Pokemon. So I think either take out Blitzel or Swanna and get, get more Galvantula. Or take out both and get tons more Galvantula and Joltik. So yeah, Unpheasant, by the way, that is the dumbest name I have ever heard. Well, maybe not the dumbest, but it's really stupid. The coin of Tails Detect is nothing of heads. Print all the text effect, including damage done to this Pokemon during your opponent's next turn. So that's, uh, that's kind of what the attack in the g video game does. So yeah, 120 HP, Cutting Wind, standard, 3 energy attack. Um, Tranquil. Um, I don't know what that is supposed to reference. It's a pretty good Pokemon. Got some pretty good attacks. Quick Attack and Gust are both good. Pit of. He's okay. I, I like these attacks. Those are pretty good attacks for one energy. You get two energy search. Oh, by the way, you get one on Pheasant. One, or two Tranquils and three Pit of. See it. You get one ener or two energy search. Search your deck for basic energy cards. Same thing. Reveal it. That's another stupid text change. And the, down here it says what the trainers, supporters, and stadium cards do. I like that. Instead, like with supporters, like it took off half the card. This is what supporters do. Yeah, put that somewhere else. That's where the card description should go. So you can play as many cards as you want before attacking. Potion now heals thirty instead of twenty, as I said earlier. And this is, by the way, one of the coolest designs for the potion card. It looks awesome. It looks like the old potion, but it looks cooler. Definitely my favorite potion. Or my favorite potion design. And I also like the new card design. It's not all grimy like it was in um, Heart Gold and Call of Legends. See so, ya. Yeah. Energy retrieval. Now you don't have to discard a card. You just get two from your discard pile. So, energy retrieval, really good. You got two of that. Pokeball, flip a coin, a fed, switch your deck for Pokemon, reveal it, blah, blah, blah. Pokeball, meh. It's not a very good card. It really it really works when you want it to. So, not, not a very good one. Press your Juniper, discard your hand, and draw seven cards. This is basically the supporter version of Professor Oak. You get one or two revives. This is a decent card. Put a basic Pokemon from your discard pile into your hand. Or onto your bench. Um, I definitely recommend this if you have like a deck with a lot of basics because if it's an evolution deck like this one, it's not going to do too well because you're only going to bring back something like 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 Basculant at the best, but probably something like Oshawott. So yeah, and then you get 12 water and 12 electric or lightning, whatever. So that's very cool. So yeah, my thoughts on this set. It's a very it, set. Before in mind. My thoughts on this deck. It's a very good deck. I definitely recommend it. Definitely the, its biggest problem is it doesn't have enough of Galvantula. I think they should have gotten rid of some of the cards like Swanna slash du Sw Swanna Ducklet Swanna Ducklet and Blitzel and given you more uh, Galvantula because he's one of the best Pokemon and he's mentioned on the in the strategy but he's not really there. But Samurott, Penpor, and Galvantula are all really good Pokemon. Baskin's also pretty good. 
See, I'm gonna give this a 9 out of 10. This is one of the best decks. I think this and Chaos Control are my most, my most recommended decks in uh, the ones I've reviewed. Steel Sentinel and Retort are okay, but this one and Chaos Control are both really, really good. This one has a lot of good Pokemon. That one had a lot of good Pokemon. 9 out of 10. Definitely go get this one. Sorry this review was 20 minutes long, but I don't know. I just tried to talk about everything. Sorry if you just wanted to see the cards. But yeah, uh, I'll see you guys next time for more Pokemon reviews or maybe uh, some of the weird stuff. Later!